yeah, we have the. Have you seen that? Yeah. yeah. It's like a oh. pool port heaven. This is a, a, a little pool port mini slider here. Now you need it like the music and slow motion. And uh, with the slow mo with the barbecue sauce here. There goes my child. That's the highest of the you can see the sauce dripping here. I see trees of green, red roses too. I see them blue. Plate and Instagram word here. Cooking backyard pork butts today, and I will show you guys how it's done. We're gonna do three butts, and uh, for my poker buddies for backyard party. So the first one is uh, with just the rub. We're gonna use my uh, th first base USA all-purpose rub. Second one. We're going to use my rub as well as an injection. The injection we're going to use today is the uh, pork injection by Cosmos. Also very highly rated. I've used it for many years. Uh, won many first places using it. I mixed it already here. So here's the liquid. Uh, we let the foam subside uh, once we put it in the fridge to keep it chilled. The third pork butt will be cooked uh, using a technique that is used in restaurants, which is basically no rub and no injection. So you're thinking WTF, what the hell is Harry trying to do cooking a butt without any seasoning? Uh, this is a technique that uh, is uh, known in the restaurant and catering circle. So I'm showing you a little bit of uh, restaurant tricks here. If you're a caterer or you're a restaurant owner, some places they cook it well just with smoke and heat and wood and uh, they shred the pork butt and then they season it after. The flavor profile is very different than one that's injected and the one that has a rub, but that's why you come to my channel. You learn stuff that you would never learn anywhere else. I'll show you the real thing about how the pros do it and then translate the pro techniques into the backyard technique. For one of the backyard uh, pork butts, we're going to inject with Cosmos Pork Injection. It's a really good injection. I won first place uh, many times with this injection. Also one of my favorites, scored really high in my pork injection shootout. We're going to mix it uh, in a Nutri Blender. So, I have six pork butt packs here. Uh, I went through a previous video to show you how to select your pork butts at the store, but uh, let me just for recap purposes, if you, in case you're too lazy to watch the other video, I'll just recap what, you, what we need to do. So the first thing you want to do is when you buy pork butts, uh, you have to find the weight. This one is about 19 pounds, so that's about right. So I want usually the pork butts to be about in the 10 pound range. We're looking for basically the money muscle right here. This is this muscle here. The muscle is always opposite the scapula bone. We're lighting up the uh, Big Papa smoker drum today. And I've uh, got my uh, Weber paraffin tubes in there to start the charcoal. We're using some Jealous Devil charcoal. It burns really hot and clean. And as the fire starts up, I'm going to put the grate on. So. Vent here. Leave the vent open about two holes to get it started. On this side, two holes. This big Papa drum smoker is one of my favorites. It's a 55 gallon drum converted into a smoker with a kit you can buy from bigpapasmokers.com. Sterling is a good friend of mine and he uh, sent this out to me many years ago as, as a test. And uh, it's one of my favorite pits in my uh, backyard here. And uh, just gets great bark, great food. You can cook on it. Fire starting up. I'm starting us on charcoal with a Weber paraffin cube. We're gonna cook some uh, backyard pork butts here for my poker buddies. And I'm gonna show you guys different techniques to cook pork butts. Uh, if it's the backyard way. We're gonna do three backyard pork butts. The first one is the, with injection and rub. Second one is with the rub only and the third one actually with no rub and I explain to you what we're going to be doing why there's no rub. We'll put the lid back on, let it come up to temp, we want to get it to about maybe 275 to get started on our pork butts for backyard poker party. So for backyard barbecue on pork butts uh, the idea is to have maximum yield so if you're running a restaurant or you're running a catering business you're looking for more, for more for yield than anything else. So in terms of trimming, we do minimum amount of trimming. Uh, on the pork butt here, on the back part, where the bone is, this is the, the bone for the back part. This is the bone for the pork butt. So uh, on this bone protruding out on the back, right right, right above it, right here, like, like so, 
there's usually a carotid artery left over from the butchering process, so this piece needs to come off here. So in terms of uh, trimming pork butt, this is all I do for a backyard or a catering or restaurant trim. You just trim off the carotid artery here. So I'll trim it off all three. This is the first one. And here's the second one. Right, right here where the bone is, and right here. This one, this one seems to be trimmed out, so that's fine. Oh, yep, yeah, it's here. So you can see that? A little bit of an artery here, you can see that. Trim it up and show the camera here. Let's see how you can see that. And right here. Yeah, like so. Alright. And then trim the third one. yuckiness right here okay so this one needs to come off all right so with that trim done uh, we don't do anything else we just inspect the meat make sure it's all whole fat cap is on I like to cook the cook fat side down this one is ready and this one's ready so we're gonna inject one of the butts here I'll put it find a pan we'll put it in a pan and inject it we're getting ready to inject the uh, pork butt we'll do one re injection and rub so I'm gonna use uh, my slappy daddy rub as well as the uh, Cosmos injection, uh, both uh, great products. I've used the Cosmos product uh, many times and uh, have done really, really well. If you want to watch my other YouTube videos, I did a shootout on the uh, six uh, different competition injections to tell you which ones I like. I also have a video on how to cook competition pork butt. The, so the competition pork butt video uh, tells you how I approach cooking pork butt in competition, which is different than the goals for backyard or restaurant or catering. Because the goal here is actually a yield, not not so much uh, the, the perfect uh, six bites for the six judges. So here's the Cosmos injection. I'm going to show you guys how we inject. I have a syringe injector here. Uh, this one you can buy on Amazon. And uh, I'll leave a link uh, in my uh, show more comments. You can go find all these products and do that that I use, like the gear I like. Uh, on Amazon. I torture test a lot of my stuff so people like to know what I'm using because I've been on the circuit for 10 years and I pretty much either beaten up or wore out or broke most of the stuff out there. So whatever's left is what I use today. So a lot of the stuff I've tried have fallen by the wayside over the years. So if you know that I use it, you know that it must be a reason because Harry is very process efficient and very cost efficient. AKA I'm very cheap and lazy so I like good stuff. And I don't, I don't want to pay, I want to pay a good price for it. So you see, I put injection here, put my finger over it, fill it up with some more, stick it in like so, and then inject it in about, say, one inch increments. It's full stop, move over, push it all the way in, inject, like so, fill up the pork butt with the injection. All right, so uh, here's the money muscle. Uh, when for bad guy, you don't really worry about it because you're going to be serving to all your friends anyway. So you're gonna share the whole pork butt. Like so, move over a little bit, inject another inch away, fill it up. Fill up with more liquid, Cosmos injection. Shake it a little bit, pull it out. So you pump it on the way out so that it, it will penetrate the meat. And imagine a one inch grid that you are cut, injecting. You want to get every square inch of it filled up. And about 10 ounces to 16 ounces of injection is about right for one pork butt. You can uh, do more or more le or less up to you, whatever you like. And then uh, because there is a scapula bone, like so, uh, there, there's a couple of uh, muscles called the horn underneath underneath the uh, scapula here, little two conical muscles here, like so. Uh, you want to inject those also. So I'm going to turn this around like so and I'll show you how it looks like. Just stick my needle in there like that. So inject the scapula horn muscle here. See, so swell up. I don't know if you can see the way it's swelled up. And I inject the underside like so. Okay. Then lastly, we want to fill up the back side, which is this muscle, terrace muscle here. And there you have it, almost done.
For the second pork butt, we're gonna try something very simple that you can do at home. So instead of using a commercially available rub and a commercially available injection on this one, on the second one, we're just gonna use some uh, kosher salt, some black pepper, some cracked black pepper, white pepper, and a little bit of garlic powder. So most of you will have that in your pantry. So it's kind of like a salt and pepper rub on the second one. And then the third one is, I'm gonna surprise you by saying we're gonna cook it with no rub, no injection, nothing. It's just smoke and fire and meat. And uh, you're probably wondering what the heck is Harry doing? This is a uh, technique uh, that some restaurants use and catering businesses use because uh, if you've never tasted pork with no injection and no rub, you're in for a treat because uh, you come to my channel to learn stuff like that that nobody else teaches. You can get really good pork flavor, smokiness with just the pork itself. And then if you know what you're doing in the pit, you form the pellicite and then you can actually get the malad reaction, which is the non-enzymatic browning of the amino acids on the pork itself without any additional products. So not to bore you with a lot of science which I've studied, uh, just take my word for it that you can actually cook a pork butt in the pit because uh, you can actually get a nice crust and the flavor is just going to be very, very porky. And of course, before you serve it, you just season it with either some salt and pepper and some rub and a little bit of sauce, a little bit of vinegar. So pulled pork without any product on it. Cooking in the pit with just smoke and meat and fire is a fabulous option. And uh, you know, you learned it here, so you can try it out. And uh, between all the three different styles of cooking pork, they're all good, they all have pros and cons. That's why I'm cooking all three for you so that you too can impress your poker buddies. Remember when they come to the front door, uh, ask for a $50 gratuity before they go too far saying that you know you spend all this time watching this guy's videos and you learn from Harry and you applying Harry's techniques to impress your poker buddies so leave your $50 gratuity before they walk into your house before you start your poker game. We're applying a uh, medium coat of the rub so I go in first time and once the meat becomes opaque I pat it down like a baby's bottom I go back and repeat exactly the same amount with just the same muscle memory all right, so we've got a double pad layer of rub on it. Put it onto the side here. Do this side now. Now, when you are, obviously when you're putting on the rub on the injected butt, try not to flip it upside down because obviously the holes are on the top and then the, all the injection is going to ooze out. So try to not, not flip it for too long and then go ahead and just, you know, flip it back on. Now, the fat cap, uh, does it need to be seasoned? Uh, this is another three hour argument between pit masters as to whether they season the fat cap. Some people say that it's a waste of, of uh, rub because uh, the fat cap is not going to be used. Some people say you're wrong because the fat cap has a lot of flavor so that when you get to the jus stage, the caramelization and then the, the mallet reaction of the fat on the, the jus will make your pork butt taste better. Who knows? Uh, everything in barbecue is a three hour argument. So uh, you just do with whatever you think you can win. So I'm going with whatever I've used to win third place USA out of 5,000 professional pork teams. So, show you what I did. Okay, so that's my first one. Second one is very simple. It's just salt, pepper, garlic powder. Like so, a little bit of kosher salt like this. Nice big bro coating of salt. Two kind, three kinds of pepper. Regular pepper. Cracked pepper. So, white pepper. I like a nice dose of white pepper. I think it tastes good. And then a little bit of garlic powder. So uh, if you are having a dry pork butt and you're not injecting because the injection makes it wet and the rub will not stick, you can go ahead and put a schmear. A schmear is nothing more than a, a liquid that you put on so that it becomes pasty and then it's easier to to let the rub it here. So for example, like this one here, I'm just putting some, uh, you know, inexpensive French mustard on it. French's, French's yellow mustard, I'm sorry, right here. So that it creates a nice, uh, what do you call a wet surface for the rub to stick. So, and if, you're, if your rub is dry, you don't have to do this. Let me see some this side here. So you can see the technique here. So a little bit of uh, salt. black pepper so you can see how the rub now sticks a lot better because I apply some of the mustard on it a little bit of cracked pepper and lots of white pepper and garlic
garlic powder. Granu I'm sorry, granulated garlic. Don't use garlic powder, okay? Use granulated garlic. Garlic powder is too fine. If you're using garlic powder, use one third as much because uh, some of my students have told me that uh, how come their, their pork butt is too garlicky? Well, I told them to use granulated garlic and they used the wrong kind of garlic. They used uh, the uh, powdered garlic. Garlic powder, I'm sorry. So, so, three different peppers here. A great flavor. My signature of the, my style of cooking is layers and layers of flavor. So whether it's just simple salt and pepper, you notice I like to layer out different kinds of peppers, different kinds of products onto the same piece of meat. Very nice and nice and seasoned here. A little bit more salt here. Okay. Pork butt can take a lot of salt, so that's that's the nice part. Okay, a bit in here and a little bit on this side here. All right, so just a simple. Salt, pepper, garlic powder, kind of a seasoning on the second butt. And then the third butt with nothing on it. We'll just show you how it's going to taste at the end and uh, different styles. And they're all good in their own way. These are all backyard recipes, easy for you to execute in your backyard. If you want to see the comp recipe, I have my comp pork recipe somewhere in the YouTube uh, channel I have. So go check that one out. It's much more elaborate. We have our three pork butts ready to go into the pit. And I decided to use uh, Big Papa Smoker's uh, drum. Here, it's a 55 gallon drum. I love it because uh, it provides excellent bark. And uh, I wish I could take it for me on competition, but it's a little bit too heavy. Since I'm a one man team, this is a little bit too heavy for me to carry, so I could use it at home. Uh, but it's a great pit, even if you have to compete. Uh, temperature is about 300 degrees, so it's gonna calm down a little bit. I'm gonna cook it around 275, and we're gonna load the butts here. Uh, so the sim very simply, the first one it has nothing on it. It's just a raw butt with just smoke and meat and fire. I just have one one uh, what do you call a uh, toothpick here, and we're gonna lift this up with one hand. Oi, oi. Okay. Right, let's see how I can do that without dropping this. Since I'm holding a camera in the other hand. Oop, okay, oop. Yeah, okay, here we go. All right, here first butt goes in like so, and. Uh, Second, but this one has two toothpicks here. This one has the uh, uh, just the salt and pepper style garlic rub. It's like a very uh, simple Texas style. All right, and then this is the uh, comp injection. We comp rub three toothpicks. And we're gonna cook them up three ways for poker buddies and uh, see which one they like best. They're all gonna be absolutely fantastic. So no seasoning, no rub, no injection full comp injection and comp rub and this one is uh, kind of a simple Texas style salt pepper garlic powder and we'll just let it cook and not see it for another maybe five six hours and then we're gonna just spread some water uh, moment every uh, hour or so and then once we get across every 30 minutes to get some nice bark on it and you'll see that even the one without season is gonna be absolutely amazing pork butt all right we're getting ready to spray our uh, butts here Good. We have the one that has no rub and the one with garlic, salt, pepper, and the one with the competition rub and injection. A bit smoky, but you guys get the idea. You just spray it now and then. Nice crust, and we're gonna wrap today in some butcher paper. Okay, we're ready to spritz now. Get some uh, butter on it. I have my butcher paper ready, and uh, the backyard butts are cook to perfection. So this is the one that doesn't have any rub or any injection, but look at the color. So what I told you is true, the pellicide will form and then the mylar reaction will form. You still get the non-enzymatic browning of amino acids despite no rub. So this is a trick that you can use if you really want a porky flavor. But and this one is the uh, Texas style with uh, salt pepper, a little bit of garlic powder, cayenne. And uh, this is the competition of injection. So all done in uh, backyard style. I, I'm going to wrap it now 
with the butcher paper. This one first. Ready to go back into the pit until they are nicely done. All right, we are done with uh, cooking the uh, poker buddies uh, pork butt. We have three pork butts here, wrapped in uh, butcher paper. Let me wrap them now. This is three. So this three is the cosmos and the injection. Number one is the one with no rub and no sauce. And uh, number two is the Texas style salt and pepper and garlic powder. So let's give it a shot here. Let's cut the money muscle off the one with the uh, three, which is three is the cosmos and the slappy daddy rub. So, and this is number one, which is the one with no injection, no rub. Looks pretty good, actually. Number one, number three, and this is number two, salt and pepper. There you have it, all three. I'm going to cut a piece from each one. So, here's the one, two, and three. So, all three have beautiful smoke ring, and the number one had nothing on it no rub, no, no sauce, nothing. Still had a beautiful smoke ring. Let's get a taste test and see. I'm going to eat the one that has no, no flavor. I just probably need to put a bit of salt, but before I put the salt on, I'm going to taste it. Very good. Just a pure pork flavor. So if you never cook a pork butt with no seasoning, no injection, just smoke, fire, and meat, you should try it because it's absolutely fantastic. Very good. Second one is just salt and pepper. Try like this. Salty and smoky. We try the one with the cosmos injection and slap it in wrap. So my preference is clear. In terms of pure pork flavor, the one that has no rub. No injection actually tastes the best. If you don't believe me, cook it yourself and try it. You tell me which one you like better. So, surprisingly, this tastes very good. And then a, a close second is the one with the injection. I hope you found this video to be useful when you make uh, pork butt for your poker buddies. We went through three different ways of making pork butt. We did one with no rub and no injection. The second one with the salt, pepper, garlic powder. The third with Cosmos and my Slabadetti rub. So the surprising conclusion is that the one that didn't have anything actually was tasted the best. So go figure. I know you don't believe me. So you go home, you go try this out. And you let me know if your conclusion is the same, that when you cook a pork butt with no injection and no rub, sometimes the flavor is just absolutely fabulous because the pure, unadulterated flavor of the pork comes right through. So the one with the Slappy Daddy rub and the Cosmos was a close second, but still, uh, this one, I think, has a lot of merit. So now you know why this little secret trick of cooking without rub and without sauce is popular among restaurants, because you can always season it after. The uh, Texas style with garlic and salt and pepper, it's okay, it's, it's great. All three pork butts are good eating, don't get me wrong. But if you're looking for the pinnacle of perfection and you want to dazzle your poker buddies, 
Next time, give this one a shot. Try the one with no rub and no seasoning. I hope you found this video useful. Please like, share, and subscribe and tell the world that you found this information on Harry Sue's channel on YouTube. Plenty more videos coming to your way because remember when Harry ups his game, he's gonna up your game. Till next time, to our next video, love you all.